Hello, interested volunteers and friends of Conscious Impact. We're going to take you on a quick walking tour of our camp just to show you around. My name is Chris Del Vecchio, and filming me is Beth. Hey, and, guys. <laughs> and we're going to go give you a little tour. This is the Takuri Heights. It's one of your options for camping, the main option. This is where most of our volunteers stay. So you'll find a spot and you'll set up camp and this will be your home for while you're living with us. Some street art. These are two of our composting latrines. The first one is an Eastern style squatter and the second is a western sit toilet. And you go in and you use the bathroom and then you throw in a handful of sawdust. And then over here we have a wash basin so you can wash your hands afterwards. Now we'll go down into our kitchen. <laughs> hey guys, this is our communal space. Hey, hey, everybody. Relaxing. <laughs> this is where we eat our meals, collect in the evening for meetings. Read our mini books. This is Nita cooking. Hi, this Nita. Is Hi. One of our Sawyer filters. This is how we drink clean water and one of the ways that we make sure that our volunteers stay healthy and hydrated while they're with us. So this is one of the cooking areas in our improvised kitchen. Ever since the issues at the border with India, we haven't been able to get gas up here for about a month. And so we cook over open fire. So here, Mama and Nita are preparing a typical dalbat lunch. Vegetables and rice and lentils. Most of the vegetables come from Nawalpur, which is a local town. And so they're local. And some delicious greens. And I'll go show you the rest of the kitchen. Mm. This is our kitchen. This is where we prepare our meals, store our food and our vegetables. You can see it's 100% in use right now. And Mama and Nita are preparing lunch for us. Um, and volunteers cook breakfast and dinner. So if you're volunteering with us, you can definitely expect to spend some time here and have some experience cooking for a large group, but you always have someone with you that's helping you. And we also do dishes. So you'll be on a chore team and you'll have a good balance of cooking and doing dishes and making sure that our community is clean and well fed and looked after. So now we're going downstairs. Our camp is over about five or six terraces so you'll get a lot of experience walking up and down stairs during your day to day here so it's important that you are ready and prepared for that and our stairs are well maintained and they're very safe but it definitely is a, a up and down terrain so down here we have two bamboo showers where you can take showers while you're here they're delicious during the day. The water is coming from deep in the earth and so it's icy cold. And so it's delightful when you've been working and you're nice and hot and you have a beautiful view of the forest when you're in the shower. Local buses are cool. And here we have some other volunteers building our hey guys. <laughs> this will be the, the location of our next composting latrine. Look at these holes. Toilets are nice. Hey. Do you think it's enough? <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> 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 On our next terrace down, we have more communal spaces. 
This is our yoga shala where we practice yoga together. And then at the far end, we have our beautiful teepee. And we just built that for our yoga retreat that was here. We had so much fun with our yogis in it. And we also had the village over for some tihar parties. And it's where we hang out in the evenings and light fires. Cat's and crawling on it currently. <laughs> um, but it's a great place. It's getting cold in the evenings. We all bundle up and have hats on and coats and heavy socks and we build a big fire in there and we sit around and play music and hang out and it's a great place to stay warm.